Hello everyone. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to easily schedule a Zoom meeting directly from Outlook. Before we begin, you will need to download and install the Zoom plugin for Microsoft Outlook. The plugin will create a button on the Outlook toolbar, enabling you to schedule a meeting with just one click. Before you install, make sure that you are logged in the computer with admin rights or know the credentials of an account who has admin rights. Head over to zoom.com. Under resources, download Zoom client. Below the Zoom plugin for Microsoft Outlook, download the plugin. When the download finishes, click on the file to start the install. Click next the plugin will install to the default folder. If you wish to install to a different folder, enter it below or click Browse. Next, and next again to confirm and start the installation. Wait for the installation to finish. I will exit out of this installation as I have already installed the plugin. Open Outlook. On the Home tab toolbar, you will notice two Zoom icons. Let's schedule a new meeting. If you are not signed in to Zoom, the sign in box will appear and you will need to sign in before you can continue. You can close or minimize the Zoom desktop app. We can now set our options for the new meeting. Select your preferred meeting ID. Require a password and create your own or uncheck for no password required. Toggle host and participants video on or off. Choose your audio. Telephone and computer audio is the default and preferred option. Click on advanced option. One thing to note, if your Zoom account is under your work company account, you will see some options that are enabled or disabled and locked. This is a setting set by your company Zoom administrator. Going down the list, Enable Waiting Room feature allows the host to control when a participant joins the meeting. As the meeting host, you can admit attendees one by one or hold attendees in the waiting room and admit them all at once. Enable join before host allows attendees to join the meeting before the host joins or when the host cannot attend the meeting. If you do not select join before host, the participants will see a pop-up dialog box that says the meeting is waiting for the host to join. If you are the host, there is a login button to log in and start the meeting as the host. If waiting room is turned on in your meeting settings, join before host will now work for your meeting. Participants entering the meeting will be automatically muted and can unmute themselves after entering. This helps prevent distraction and noisy feedback. Automatically record to your local computer. Once you enter the meeting, it will start to record. Force include joint URL and location field will include the join URL in the location field even if you attempt to remove it. Insert Zoom meeting invitation above existing text will insert the invitation meeting details above any other custom text in the email. After making all your selections, click Continue. Now we need to enter a date and time of the meeting. Choose a start date and time. And an end time. In the To field, enter the recipient's email addresses to whom you want to send the meeting invites to and send. <laughs> 